I want to know if all that apple juice is really necessary to make a delicious smoothie. Or can you make a more nutritious and cheaper drink at home? Nicola Ludlam Rain is a registered dietitian. Hello. Hello. So what are we going to do here? So we're going to make an apple and berry crumble smoothie with some healthier additions to add in some more nutrients. Okay, so what have we got? So we're going to start with some oats for some added fibre. We're then going to put in some milk and also yoghurt. So always go for a plain yoghurt in a smoothie because we've got the sugars from the fruit. Some banana. Da-da! Plunk. Top tip, I actually really love frozen banana, so if you peel it and freeze it, it adds a lovely creaminess. Next, we're adding some frozen berries, and fun fact, frozen fruit actually contains more nutrients than fresh. Look at the colour. And then finally, we're going to add an apple instead of apple juice for more fibre. Delicious. Okay, can we try it? Yes, let's. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is so much sweeter. I recommend it, delicious. The top price smoothie that we tested earlier cost four pounds for a 750 milliliter bottle. For the same amount, ours cost just two pound 95, a saving of 7.35 a week on a once a day smoothie habit.